Greetings and welcome back to SmartWatchSticks.com. We got all kinds of goodies here from the same company, Wellu. GoWellu.com has got some of the best um, heart health measuring capabilities, blood pressure, blood oxygen, and inside this box, something completely new from these guys. It's the O-Pump. It's a breath trainer. Before we get into that, a reminder, you get 15% off of any of these WellU products that you've seen here simply by using the link GoWellU.com. If you need to, put ticks in the uh, coupon code when you check out, but just GoWellU.com should automatically get you that 15% discount. And all the products that we've reviewed, you can check them out individually at bit.ly WellU videos. Head on over and check them out. Okay. This is the O-Pump Breathing Trainer, and inside the box, um, it's filled with stuff. We got some different manuals in here. This is the English version and the Chinese version right there. Then we've got the apparatus itself. It looks kind of like one of those handheld telescopes, but it's actually something we're going to be breathing into. There's a button, and it charges. Um, internal batteries. We got the specs to show you in a moment. There's a couple of other little goodies here. They look like a broomstick for a very small witch. And then we've got this overall bendable tube that you'll be able to put in here and breathe into the end of it to watch your breath on the gauge. Now, it sounds like something really simple to use, but in reality, it's quite complex because it actually will adjust itself automatically to your breathing capabilities. Here we go. What is a smart breathing breathing trainer it's an innovative device it can help you improve your effective lung capacity and respiratory health huh why would you want to do that well you're an athlete you may have sleep apnea you just want to really overall improve the breadth and depth of your breathing for weight control or hyperoxygenation, whatever it is, and you've checked in with your doctor that it's okay for you to do, a breath trainer like this could help you out. It's designed to accurately measure lung volume, intelligently provide personalized breathing exercises, and easily manage all of the training data within its uh, tethered app. So not only do you see it on the device itself, but you get um, feedback from the app too. Why does it matter? Well, breath training is a way to build up your respiratory muscles, primarily the intercostal muscles, those are between your rib cage, and the diaphragm itself. It can also strengthen your throat muscles and, 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 and everything having to do with the breathing process. Breathing training is a key component of sports performance and success and is beneficial for your overall well-being and can help you relieve symptoms of asthma, COPD, sleep, sleep apnea, etc. Lung capacity measurement with MEMS, the most advanced flow sensor and respiratory technology, which this little puppy has, smart breathing trainer can measure real-time inspiratory, that's the breathing in time, you know, work, you breathe in, breathe out. It'll measure that real-time speed for breathing in and volume with precise accuracy and sensitivity. The same technology now is used in medical ventilators, oxygen systems, sleep apnea, diagnostic tools. It's right here in this device and it's relatively inexpensive. A correct assessment of your lung capacity is the first step to a healthier you. Now, intelligent breathing exercises. After analyzing your inspiratory capacity at the first use, you're going to find it's going to be harder to breathe in the next one. The device can provide a dynamic adjusted airflow resistance to your respiratory muscles, forcing them to work harder and become trainer. Now, uh, trainer, become better. I'm talking trainer because I'm thinking about, you know, when you're lifting weights or you're doing rubber bands or stuff like that, you're putting some extra resistance to help build your muscles. Same thing when you're doing this airflow. And that's one of the key things you want a calibrated breathing exercise device that can automatically adjust to give you the proper adjusted airflow resistance to build your muscles. 
Personalized training courses and fun games can make the exercise even more interesting, and that's all part of the app. Do it regularly in your idle time, and you'll see the difference as soon as a couple of weeks. So it's got this MEMS sensor, a free app associated with it. No subscriptions required, guys. Uh, you got a portable design. You can take it anywhere. Two different types of exercises. It comes in uh, black or white. And you have uh, exciting training options for you. To fully use it then, we got to go a little deeper into the box. we got that unit itself. And we've got the extender tube that can go in here. Okay, if we want to. There. And we also have two of these mouthpieces that you'll put in. So you'll be able to stick that in your mouth, bend this if you want to, so you'll be able to see the displays and you can work with it that way. But before we even begin that, we got to make sure we have it charged up. So inside here, you'll find that you've got a standard USB charger. And it looks like it's a little button there, but actually that's just a separator. So this goes on top of it right there. And of course, plugs into your computer or your USB charger. And then we've got a little case that you can put everything in and carry it along with you if you want to. So that's the unit. Now, to begin with, you got to kind of go through where everything is. This is the manual. It's basic stuff. And you got all of your layout information. Uh, you got your flow where you're going to be breathing in this end. And then you got your uh, holes here that you don't want to cover up when you're doing all of this stuff. And then the displays. So the displays will look like this. You're going to get two different things out of it. Your, your total capacity and, of course, your rate. And those will be on these two different bars. You turn it on by pressing the end. You can set it up and breathe directly in here. And uh, you can put in the extender if you want to as well. And um, that's pretty much it. You go through the basic trainings. So this is kind of the basics of how you use it. Then you've got the um, QR code here you can scan or use the link in the show notes. You're going to download the O-Pump app. And this tells you about the operation of that app as well. Cleaning, that's what the little witch's brooms are for. You can use this then to stick it inside and uh, clean it from all of that use that you did. Right down in there. Uh-huh. And um, it, that can take care of that. And that's about it. Warranty information is in here as well. And then your overall charts. Here's the recommended uh, inspiratory capacity for height and age for female. And then here it is for male as well. All right. Well, it's all charged up. So I'm going to press and hold for a couple of seconds. Here comes the lights calibrating itself and settling down. We're going to do the vital capacity test. I'm going to slowly inhale and try to raise the flow volume LED as high as possible. That's this one on this side. So I exhale. I put my lips around it and I suck in. You ready? Here we go. Okay, not too shabby, but then I talk a lot, so I guess 3,500 it looked like there. That's the vital capacity test. The other one now is um, slowly inhale and maintain the flow rate LED in the best area. You notice this one went up, but I was not uh, paying attention. I was trying to get as high as possible. Here, I want to try to raise the flow volume LED to a specified volume level. When the inhalation is complete, remove the mouthpiece and so forth. So I'm going to try for, I don't know, 2,500. And I need to stay in the best, which is the bottom one, I believe, right? Best is down here. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that's hard. What did I get? 2,000. All right, I got to practice. Now, that was my first inhale on this, and it was really easy. But this thing's smart. It's going to make it harder for me each time. I'm going to have to start working at it, and I'm going to really develop my lungs. Woohoo! 
Now, again, Wellu has got a plethora of interesting devices like this ECG reading device where you simply touch the electrodes, decide how you want to take a measurement, touch it to your skin, and it'll give you a really accurate, nice, easy to understand visual ECG chart. That's one of their products. We've got a couple of different kinds of rings that can measure blood oxygen. And again, tie in with an app. You can wear these things to bed and monitor all night long. Really interesting stuff. And if you're into blood pressure with a cuff, You've got an electronic blood pressure reading device that can also perform an ECG using these end leads right here and do it wirelessly to your phone in the app where you can track all of that stuff. All coming to you from Wellu. Just want to remind you, you've got all these capabilities in this one company that have been with us for years. But we have been talking about the O-Pump today. And once again, well, GoWellu.com for a 15% discount on this or any of these devices. Why do you want it? Aside from having fun breathing, you can improve your sports fitness. The device provides sports fans, athletes, singers, and those who require lung fitness with greater opportunity of doing respiratory muscle training, RMT. The training can make the muscles of, uh, uh, stronger for breathing and are able to work for longer time. Ultimately, this helps boost the user's overall performance in high-intensity sports and endurance events. So you think about endurance and getting a lot of oxygen into your blood so that you'll have that residual there when you need it, when everything is pushing to the limit. And to get that in there the best possible, you want to be able to fill your lungs up full and rich with great oxygen. And for that, you need to do exercises for your breathing, RMT. How does it improve respiratory health? Well, the breathing exercise device is designed to improve your overall lung health. It expands your inner tissues and reduces excess mucus inside your lungs, preventing the buildup of fluid in the lungs and making vital gas exchange functions even better. Breathing exercises can strengthen your throat muscles as well, making the airways have less chance of collapsing during sleep. Uh-huh, uh-huh, related to sleep apnea perhaps? So the gadget is valuable in controlling these kind of symptoms. COPD, mild sleep apnea, all of that. And of course, you know, we do have devices that can monitor and measure sleep apnea even to the point of wearables on your wrist, like a little uh, watch, smart watch or smart band that can vibrate if it detects that you may be falling into a sleep apnea situation. Same kind of things with these rings. So if you feel you may have sleep apnea, this can give you some insight into how you can uh, help rectify that. But one of the primary things you can do is a smart breathing trainer to help strengthen your uh, your throat so it doesn't collapse on you when you're asleep. So they say, check with your doctor and get your doctor's opinion before purchasing this item or these items or taking on all of this stuff by yourself. Your condition may be specific to you and require different types of uh, intervention um, or no intervention at all. So always, always rely on medical professionals we're just giving you some information, education on possible products that you might be able to share with your doctor and see what they think. Okay, it comes also with a free app. You can download that from the Google Play Store. We'll have a link in the show notes for you to take it in. Uh, the mobile app uh, for the Smart Breathing Trainer offers personalized courses and fun games so you can better exercise with this device too. You can also easily manage your data over time and track your progress using the app. Note though, Smart Breathing Trainer can work without the app. You don't actually have to have it. There's an extension tube, you saw that, that can be applied that lets you actually see your real-time breathing data on the training unit. And so you can try to meet or exceed your capacity if you want to as you uh, improve over time. In terms of specs, it's called the LMB001. 
There's its overall size. It's got LED lights on it. Uses Bluetooth 4 for connection. A measuring range of 0 to 4,500 milliliter. Plastic breathing uh, training um, purpose. It's got a 400 milliamp hour battery with a uh, rechargeable in two hours and a battery life of about 15 hours. And again, Use GoWellU.com to head over to the company. That'll trigger an automatic 15% discount. If it doesn't, make sure you put ticks in the coupon code to pick it up. Okay, let's take a look at it uh, and how it works with the app now. Just as we found with most smartwatches, the app really can make a difference. It can make it or break it in terms of what kind of value you can get out of the product. And that's the same case here. We're looking at an app called O-Pump. We've not used that one before. This is what it looks like in the Google Play Store. The link in the show notes will take you there. Or just search for O-Pump. When you uh, get to it and you install it and you open it for the first time, you're going to go through some pages I'm going to show you. After you get through all of that, you land on this overall entry page. You have three uh different pages here. This one shows you training and some other recommendations of training activities you can do with an overall chart showing the dates and uh, your compliance, basically. That's what it's all about with this puppy, compliance. This one shows you the uh, inhale-exhale process for calibrating your particular breath with this particular instrument and app. And then the last one gives you uh, guidance on all kinds of things related to uh, the languaging, uh, choosing the device to make sure you're paired, your profile, notices, terms and conditions, and software updates. So we're going to come back here. But before I jump in and actually do this for you, I want to show you what we... Um, what we got the very first time I used it. When I loaded the app and I ran it initially and it was paired to the device, I had to go through these lung tests. And you begin your first test, slowly inhale, and then it came back with the result on my inspiratory, my breathing in vital capacity, which, well, I was really good on the first one. That <laughs> turned out great. And my speed was monitored as best. They want you to keep it in a slow inhale, not a really quick full inhale, but you know, slowly inhale, hold it at that speed and maximize your capacity. I began the second test and I came up with that number. I began the third test and came up with that number. They averaged it all together and gave me my baseline capacity. Okay, then I could either test it again and do it all over or jump in to check my courses. I checked the courses and it came up with the ones I just showed you. There's a couple of them just for capacity and respiratory strength and then some other ones that you can play with. Now, going in through this in a deeper way, when you select that first one on accessibility lung capacity, I love this, it inspires me. Mm. Uh, you you have your goal setting, and it, it's, a, it's a high goal setting. Look at that. It's higher, well, it's way up there, almost as high as I could possibly reach. But that's good because it gives me something to strive to reach. You can do 8, 16, or 24 reps and hit start. When you do, and you go through 8 repetitions, you get a chart that looks like this. You get your individual session results and what percentage of compliance you met for each one of them. I don't have it to scroll up, but if I scroll it all the way up, you'll see you have these eight, and then it comes out with an average. My training is 83%. This was yesterday. Then I did this respiratory strength. That's uh, different than the capacity. I'm at the beginner level, 8, 16, 24 reps, whatever you feel you can do without getting too lightheaded. Here's my results. Man, I could nail this one. This was great, and it was easy for me. So at the beginning level, it actually hit me at 100% all the way through and recommended I skip intermediate and go to expert. Yeah, 
Uh, I, I guess I got a lot of hot air. Here's that same thing again. I just scrolled up to show you all eight of them. These are the values, and um, I'm definitely doing well in that regard. So let's switch back now and just give you an idea of what this is actually like and then show you some games on this. Here we go. The device has turned itself off because I talked so long. I'm going to press the button. Light it up again. Now, you're not going to see me really working with this because we're going to be playing with the app instead, but I'll be bro blowing uh, or sucking, actually, through here. I'm going to do the lung capacity first. I'll show you one or two of them. I hit start. It wants me to exhale as long as possible and then begin inhaling. You ready? Okay, Lewis, hold it for two seconds. Ah, then you're supposed to exhale all the way out and do it one more time. Now, when it begins, you're supposed to inhale and keep it in the best. A fast inhale goes up like this, but the best is if you inhale really, really slowly. And you keep going and you keep going, which I didn't do right now, so it's giving me a really low value. But it's going to let me do it over and over and over again. So you do eight repetitions or 16 or 24, whatever you chose. And at the end, you get that summary I just showed you. And that's your overall lung capacity. And the intent is to increase your lung capacity over time. Now let's switch to the other one. This is respiratory strength. And since I really can knock this one out of the ballpark, I'm switched it to uh, expert from beginner. We'll do eight reps. Hit start. Now you're supposed to empty your lungs and then take a big, deep, full power inhale like this. Wow. Okay, I got up there. I might have waited too long. Let's try it again. Oh, I got almost a 70. Wow. So you can whip through this one pretty quick. And since I'm on a new level, I'll do that for you so we can see what the average is like. Oh, it fell out of my mouth that time. Oh, boy, this is harder. It's gotten much tougher for me. All right, I think I got one more to go. Eight of eight. Here we go. Whee! 97% compliance. So I'm less than 100, which means I'm, I'm, I've got a little bit of elbow room. I can check the report. Here you go. There's the overall graph. Here's the results. 100%, 99, 98. And I'm at the highest level possible. So I got great sucking capabilities. A lot of people say I suck on this channel, and they're probably true, uh, but that's that one. Now, I want to come over here and come back, and we did these two, but there's a couple of other fun little things. There's an anaerobic threshold. You come in here, you take your shirt off, you... Uh, Head out by the ocean. Uh, <laughs> you'd set it for one minute, three minutes, or five minutes. And you're going to do a fun little thing here. Watch carefully. I'm going to hit start. You empty your lungs. You see this? Now, it's going to want me to inhale. And I'm inhaling to the point where I'm trying to get it to stay at that same level. Now, when I'm holding, I'm not breathing in or out, so it's here. Exhale. Very, very slow. If I push too hard, it goes down. Big inhale is wrong. Holding is right there. And then an exhale, real hard, is wrong. That's like blowing at a candle flame, but not trying to blow it out, but make it flicker. So you do this whole sequence of inhaling, exhaling, and holding, and you'll again get a compliance, meaning how closely did you match that graph when you were doing it? There, my time is up. 
very, very bad because I messed around with it. Uh, but when you do better, you're starting to train your anaerobic uh, breath rate and get some good value out of that in developing your body. And then this last one, relaxation and revitalization. You set it for two, four, six minutes, and without even using the device, this is what you can do on your watch when you have those breathing exercises. You basically inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, according to what you're seeing, and that's just a relaxing breath. It doesn't have anything to do with the machine whatsoever. So those were the four recommended programs I got when uh, I did my initial setup. Yours might be different. And you'll see over time how these kind of develop. You're supposed to be doing three sets during a day. Um, you choose when you want to, morning, noon, or night, I guess, and um, add them together. Now, games. This is a different way of playing with this stuff, and you can have fun with it. I'll show you quickly a couple of them. The elephant eats fruit. Now, the bigger the fruit, the harder you need to suck because you have to suck the fruit to you. It doesn't begin till you inhale. Are you ready? This is an example. We've begun. Control the, uh, the fruit by sucking it in. There's the elephant, and here we go. Okay, I got them all. And I was just continuously sucking. Yeah, I got to wait for it to fall. Oh, I missed that one. Whoo. Whoo. Okay. What's that? Oh, I don't know. Boom. It's a bomb. And that reset me to zero. So that is not something you want to eat. That's a little fun game, especially if you're working with kids. Blow a kiss. I'm not going to go there. Mrs. Tix watched my videos and she finds me kissing somebody with my breath. Anyway, here's a Soda King. This one was wild. You got to suck really hard and really long for this one. I love it. Ready? Whew, I just drank seven sodas. Look, at 15 seconds left. do this and drive immediately afterwards and it started again it's letting me keep going oh my goodness i'm getting lightheaded a few more fun things wishing candles you can play like you're blowing out candles and you can even make a song with your flute <laughs> controlling how your breath changes the melody that's all about the different ways you use this for training purposes which is way, way above and beyond what we typically see in a smartwatch app that just gives you your heart rate and blood pressure and blood oxygen. This is actually testing and giving you um, workshop stuff to enhance your breath capacity. So the two go together beautifully. This again is where you can uh, set reset your, uh, your mode if you want to. I guess it's uh, have to do it to get your results. And you can go into a guest mode if you want to loan it to somebody after you clean it, right? Remember, COVID's still around, so definitely take care of that. And then, again, this is the um, place where you can come in and get more information. The user's guide is here available for you. The same thing I think that we just looked at uh, manually, you can look up here with the specifications and all of it. So one more time. This is a smart breath trainer. That's its whole purpose for being. It can help you improve your breathing capacity, your uh, longevity of your breath, uh, and how quickly you can move air in and out. It's great for athletes who are really at the extreme levels of performance that can run into an anaerobic state if they don't oxygenate their blood ahead of time in a very rapid and sustainable way. And so developing your lungs and developing your throat and developing all aspects of your breathing process could be very beneficial. Works really well too, supposedly, for folks who have breathing issues like sleep apnea. Um, it's an enhancement to actually training and growing and building your capacity to perhaps not have apnea happen at night with your 
throat collapsing on itself or whatever. Again, talk to a medical professional about that. I am not anywhere close to, to that to tell you about it. But uh, it is uh, an interesting device. It is not so much a wearable, but it is along the lines of a health-oriented device that we like to cover here on the channel to make it kind of well-rounded. You combine this together with some of the other uh, devices you've seen for ECG, blood oxygen, smart watches, or clip on your finger type things. Even the Aura Ring uh, uh, gives you good information on all of this. And you got a well-rounded package of uh, ability to, to get information about your body, feedback, and then to take care of it by enhancing uh, your breath through practice. One last time, WellU is the company. GoWellU.com is the link that will take you there to get you a 15% discount automatically. And just in case it doesn't happen, put the, the code word TICKS when you check out and that'll activate it. But any of the products that we've reviewed here, and we've reviewed almost all of them, are available for you. Now, if you're still with me, the last folks here uh, I want to show, if you're still watching, this might be for you. WellU is a very advanced company, and they have some very high-end gear, like 12-lead ECG uh, machines. And these puppies here, when combined with what we just look at, the Smart Breathing Trainer, you can pick up an APAP device that can help you if you are looking to treat OSA. Now, if you don't know what that is, then this probably is not something you're interested in. But if you do, the combination together might be beneficial for you. If you are uh, dealing with COPD, then there's the auto by PAP device combined again with the smart breathing trainer can give you some uh, enhanced capabilities to work with that. So they are being sold together. I don't have a discount for these. I don't believe you can try ticks in the in the the uh, coupon code, um, but but the high end gear typically doesn't get discounted for me. Just the devices that I've reviewed here. But still, with that said, if this is something, either of these combinations that could help you out where you are in your life with what's going on. I just wanted to bring it to your attention. Again, GoWellU.com will take you to their main website. Check on products. You can drill down and find these listings there and uh, just explore to your heart's desire. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we're going to be getting back to smartwatches real soon. I got a ton of them coming in. There was a little hiccup there with uh, COVID, and it's now worked its way out in China, and they're starting. They are, they are in the mail, I'll put it that way. So we'll have some great smartwatch reviews for you coming up real soon. Thanks again, and we'll see you again soon.